Hello everyone, this is Mike History 2 and I'm making yet another video. So today we will be talking about Sani Abacha. So who is this guy? You've probably never heard of him. So you've clicked on the right video. So a house and eyes Kanuri from Borno, Nigeria, Sani Abacha was born and brought up in Kano. He attended the Nigerian Military Training College in Kaduna and was commissioned in 1963 after he had attended the Mons Officer Cadet School in Aldershot, the United Kingdom. In 1969, he fought during the Nigerian Civil War as a platoon and battalion commander. He later became commander of the 2nd Infantry Division in 1975. In 1983, Abacha was General Officer Command of the 2nd Mechanized Division and was appointed a member of the Supreme Military Council. He was involved in all the military coups in Nigeria which, you know, really tells you about what kind of a person he is. When he was still a second lieutenant with the 3rd Battalion in Kaduna, he took part in the July 1966 Nigerian counter coup from the conceptual stage. He could well have been a participant in the Lagos or Abeokuta phases of the coup the previous January as well. In addition, Abacha played an important role in the 1983 Nigerian coup d'etat, which brought General Mohamedou Buhari to power in the 1985 Nigerian coup d'etat, which removed Buhari and brought General Ibrahim Baba Babangida to power. When General Ibrahim Babangida was named president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Nigeria in 1985, Abacha was named chief of army staff. He was later appointed minister of defense in 1990. On November 17, 1993, Abacha, being the Minister of Defense and the most important official in the military, forced the interim president, Ernest Shonakin, to hand over power to him. In his nationwide broadcasts, Abacha cited the social-political uncertainties under the interim government as a cause for his resignation. He ruled as head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces in Nigeria, essentially making him its military dictator. In September 1994, he issued a decree that placed his government above the jurisdiction of the courts, effectively giving him absolute power. Another decree gave him the right to imprison anyone for up to three months without trial. Abacha's chief security officer, Hamza al-Mustafa, had an iron grip on the military and security of the country. Abacha created a personal security force of 3,000 men trained in North Korea, and the Nigerian police force underwent a large-scale retraining. The state cracked down ruthlessly on criminals and dissidents. The National Democratic Coalition was attributed with several bombings across the country, and many of its members were arrested. When Moshud Abiola proclaimed himself president, he was jailed for treason and later died in jail. Also former military ruler Ulusegun Obasanjo was jailed for treason and accused of plotting a coup together with General Oladipo Dia. In, gen in 1997, General Shehu Yar Adua was also jailed and died in custody. Abacha's regime was accused of human rights abuses, especially after the hanging of Ogoni activist Ken Sarawiwa. Wole Soyinka was also charged with, that, with treason, although he wasn't actually there at the trial. Abacha's regime was also opposed by many pro-democracy activists. Economically, Abacha's dictatorship oversaw an increase in the country's foreign exchange reserves, from $494 million in 1993 to $9.6 billion in 1997, only four years later. And he reduced the debt of Nigeria from $36 billion in 1993 to again 44 years later, $27 billion. Abacha also constructed between 25 and 100 kilometers of urban roads in major cities such as Kano, Busao, Benin, Huntua, Zaria, Enugu, Kaduna, Lagos, Lokoja, and Port Harcourt. Harcourt. Abacha brought the privatization programs of the Ibrahim Babangida administration to a halt, reduced an inflation rate of 54% inherited from Ernest Shonekin to 8.5% between 1993 and 1998, all while the nation's main uh, commodity, oil, was at an average of $15 per barrel. GDP growth, despite being estimated to be higher than the 2.2% 2 2 growth in 1995, was largely limited to the petroleum sector and therefore didn't really benefit many people. Now, these unprecedented economic achievements coincided, unfortunately, with the rapid expansion of corruption. Abacha's national security advisor, Alhaji Ismail Aguarzo, was accused by the government of President Olu Segun Obasanjo to have played a central role in the looting and transfer of money to his overseas bank accounts. 
Abacha's son, Muhammad Abacha, and best friend, Alhaji Muhammad M. Sada, were also involved. Sani Abacha told Ismaila Guarzo to provide fake national security funding requests, which Abacha approved. The funds were usually sent in cash or travelers checks by the Central Bank of Nigeria to Guarzo, who then took them to Abacha's house. Mohamed Sada then arranged to launder the money to offshore accounts so that nobody would catch him stealing all this money. An estimated $1.4 billion in cash was spent this way. In 2004, a list of the 10 leaders who enriched themselves the most in the previous two decades was released in order of amount stolen, and the fourth rank of these was Abacha and his family, who were alleged to have embezzled or basically stolen one to five billion dollars. Jersey discovered more than 267 million dollars in funds that were allegedly laundered through the U.S. banking system and deposed in a Jersey account. Now, Abacha oversaw the reorganization of Nigeria into six geopolitical zones in order to reflect cultural, economic, and political realities of the regions. So there was North Central, which included Benue, Kogi, Kwara, Nasarawa, Niger, Plateau, and the Federal Capital Territory. Northeast was Adamawa, Bauchi, Borno, Gombe, Taraba, and Yobe. Northwest, Jigawa, Kaduna, Kano, Katsina, Kebi, Sokoto, and Zamfara. Southeast, which included Abia, Anambara, Eboni, Enugu, and Imo. Uh, so then the South, which is Aqua, Ibom, Bayelsa, Cross River, Delta, Edo, and Rivers, and finally Southwest, which is Ikiti, Lagos, Ogun, Ondo, Osun, and Oyo. So Abacha held a constitutional conference between 1994 to 1995. Early in 1998, he announced that elections would be held on August 1st, with a view towards handing power to civilian government on October 1st. Although, of course, he had no actual intentions of giving up any power, and he basically forced the five political parties into backing him as the only candidate, so of course he won the election. Wow. So, following the execution of Ken Saro Wiwa, Nigeria was suspended from the Commonwealth of Nations. While hosting Nelson Mandela, he admitted that he was advised against interfering with the trial, but made assurances that he would use his rank in government to commute the sentence if death sentence was pronounced. Now, who was this guy? Well, basically, he was a spokesperson of and then the president of the Movement for the Survival of the Okoni People. And Saro Wiwa led a nonviolent campaign against environmental degradation of the land and waters of Ogoni land by the operations of the multinational oil industry, especially the Royal Dutch Shell Company. He was also a critic of the Nigerian government, which he viewed as reluctant to enforce environmental regulations on the foreign oil companies which were ruining the land. So, how was he thanked for saving the environment? Well, he was tried by special military tribunal for allegedly um, masterminding the gruesome murder of Ogoni chiefs at a government meeting. And Justice Ibrahim Auta, who was the judge uh, at that trial, sentenced him to death by hanging. And of course, Abacha did nothing to stop this, even though he promised. But then again, this guy also promised that he would have fair elections. So, directly infringing UN sanctions on Libya, Muammar Gaddafi's West African tour in 1997 to Sani Abacha to mark the new Islamic year was greeted by thousands of Abacha supporters who came out to show their loyalty to Obacha and Gaddafi in Kano. He also intervened in the Liberian civil war, and through the economic community of West African state's monitoring group, he sent troops to Liberia to fight against a rising insurgency in the country and political tensions. The civil war, which began in 1989, saw an influx of Nigerian troops from 1990 when Abacha was defense minister. On June 8, 1998, Abacha died in the Aso Rock presidential villa in Abuja. He was buried on the same day according to Muslim tradition and without an autopsy, which caused many people to think that he might have been assassinated. Officially, he died because of a sudden heart attack. However, it is believed by foreign di diplomats, including American intelligence analysts, that he may have been poisoned. His main security officer, Hamza al-Mustafa, believed he was poisoned by Israeli operatives in the company of Yasser Arafat because everything is the Jews' fault. And after Abacha's death, General Abdul Salami Abu Bakr became head of state, and during General Abu Bakr's short presidency, the Fourth Nigerian Republic began. 
So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe.